Turning now to the coronavirus, just hours after the California Department of Public Health recommended that everyone in the state wear a face mask indoors, Southern California theme parks are now following suit. Let's get up to Robert Kavasik. He's in the newsroom now with new information tonight. Robert. Chuck, that new information comes from Disneyland. Starting Friday, guests ages two and up and cast members are required to wear face coverings in all indoor locations. And that is whether you've been vaccinated or not. Universal Studios Hollywood reminding us their indoor mask requirements started last week when L.A. County Health made it a mandate. Stopping a surge right now means relying on masks and vaccines. And the entertainment industry is taking notice. Hollywood craves a sequel, but not when it comes to COVID. Netflix reportedly now the first major studio to demand vaccinations for actors and crew on the set of all U.S. productions. It comes as two California-based giants, Google and Facebook, announce vaccine requirements for those returning to the office. Cell phones across Los Angeles buzz today with a warning about the rapidly rising case rate. We are nowhere near herd immunity. California and the nation now back to wearing masks indoors due to the powerful Delta variant. Something has changed, and what has changed is the virus. Tonight, the president back at the White House, back to wearing a mask, and expected to announce tomorrow all civilian federal employees be vaccinated or submit to strict protocols. Vaccines are the path forward. It does allow you to claim your life back. Pfizer is suggesting a third booster shot would strongly increase protection against Delta. Federal officials say they have plenty of vaccine stockpiles, but are not yet ready to greenlight booster shots. The push is so strong for people to get vaccinated that New York City will pay $100 to those who get their first doses at city-run sites there. And yes, we asked... What about L.A.? Tonight, Mayor Garcetti's office tells us, Colleen, so far, no plans to do the same. In our newsroom, I'm Robert Kavasik. Let's go back to you. All right, Rob.